Hi guys, in this video I will teach you how to create an exterior render of this uh, model here um, to create a nice uh, um, um, render and ambientation for this uh, kind of uh, house or home. So let's begin. First of all, you uh, have to create a scene for this model but uh, i think for me is uh, uh, Im uh, more important the framing of the f uh, main subject so i first of all i have to usually i create uh, a camera that uh, i can adjust in uh, in later in a later moment but i i wanna to have uh, the first position of my camera set it up in my scene to see what uh, looks like my model and after uh, after this I uh, prepare the scene properly to uh, relate it to my views so uh, the first thing to do is going to V-Ray Bridge uh, camera and create a V-Ray physical camera let's bring a camera in scene uh, uh, set it up on my perspective current per perspective view um, as you can see I have already a camera so if you enter here I have set it up my position related to these uh, buildings that's the main subject and I uh, usually um, take the advantage of this grid uh, view it's uh, simple to to turn to, to turn on basically you go to camera not on V-Ray tag camera uh, on the um, camera object uh, properties of uh, Cinema 4D, go to Composition and Enable, and you can choose a variant of this grid. This is a regular photographic grid. You have triangles, golden spiral, diagonal, golden section, and crosshair. I think grid for me is good, so yeah, the settings like before and uh, when I position the camera by moving it in my scene, okay, I repeat the process a bit to see what I usually doing for my scene, okay, when I'm satisfied with my views uh, I create a new Cinema 4D tags protection. These tags cannot um, move the. With these tags uh, applied to my camera, I cannot move my my camera um, accidentally. So it's very useful for framing up and don't. Uh, um, create an error of your uh, views so after doing this I basically uh, had a copy in my background to create a nice uh, uh, um, environment for basic environment for my uh, buildings here this is a simple instances of these buildings uh, I have only rotated it by 19 degrees and position below my main subject and after doing this uh, to do this select your home group with all the contents in here and click on instance this automatically add an instance as you can see and if you move something on your building you automatically move the piece on your instance so it's very uh, useful and uh, uh, in this case we when we texturing one building we have textured two building for this quick example is I think it's very uh, it's very good and uh, uh, Another thing to keep in mind is this kind of um, the, the instance um, 
it's more uh, quickly to calculate for my PC. Okay, after doing this, I basically create uh, the ground. I'll see you in a moment. Um, this ground is made by simple. Uh, the first, first, sorry. It's a simple plane with a displacer. So go here and activate the displacer. And with these settings in strength and height and a shading of noise, set it up to 3000 on percent on global scale because I want a very few uh, differences in some places. I have, uh, after doing this, I copied this ground, I name it grass, and I properly delete the part that I don't want to have with the same displace, displacer and I erase a bit uh, this plane as you can see here from my ground object that's because I want to create uh, with my ground only the, the terrain and with this new plane I have applied to it a gra um, V-Ray uh, um, tag basically right click on this V-Ray bridge tag and apply V-Ray four. and on this I tweaken up uh, some basic settings I leave these settings properly in uh, by default and I usually use to uh, tweaks this value here. I have a direction of uh, variation of 0 0.7, length variation of 0 0.5. Maybe it's only to uh, create a differences on every uh, uh, filament of grass, basically. And uh, as you can see, it's not visible in viewport. The only thing to see these tags is in render. It's a common uh, uh, problem for this tag in every V-Ray uh, plugin for uh, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, uh, some, uh, and someone else. But it's very useful and create realistic results if you use properly. Okay, after doing this, I have created this, this plane. Basically, I create a, um, a plane and a with one by one subdivision, um, make some loop, edge loop, subdivided it one times, and activate uh, on this a displacement map, like before, with this turbulence noise, 3000% of scale and the power of uh, a strength of displacer of 86% and an height of uh, 131 cm. That's my setting, but it's, uh, it's up to you to create your settings and uh, see what uh, will uh, works good in your scene. And after doing this, I think uh, um, I have uh, subdivided it a bit, sorry, here, I have activated my subdivision surface and after these settings I see, uh, as you can see, my scene is very, very nice, I have these hills in the background, my, um, my ground is not perfect and I think it's a good start. Okay, my camera is set it up, I think so the, the composition is good, now it's time to lighting. Basically, for the exterior scene, I have uh, usually uh, used um, a simple uh, V-Ray sun and sky lighting. So, to do this, you uh, go to V-Ray bridge, lights, and select V-Ray physical sun with sky. As you can see, when you um, click on it, um, Cinema 4D and V-Ray creates a light and light target. Uh, as you can, uh, if you move the light target, the um, the lights follow the the position of, uh, of the light target. And also, 
rotation and angle as you can see when I move the my target my light here moves okay um, sunlight is independent on position in your scene only things to keep in mind is the rotation on uh, X axis, Y axis and Z axis uh, so uh, to create um, my scene I have created a physical sky and, uh, and sun here as you can see here with a target here I have put it up on this direction related with my buildings to create a nicer mid shadows here and properly I have oriented it as you can see by these views my front view by 45 degrees maybe 45 degrees on your on my um, on my work plane to create a midday uh, um, lighting sorry Okay, after doing this, I usually go to my camera in V-Ray. Uh, sorry, uh, my light is simple, so I created it, position it in my correct, uh, correct direction and uh, position and rotation, sorry, and I don't uh, change any settings here. Only settings I, I have to change for uh, later is override reflection environment and ro override refraction environment but I um, teach you later uh, what I do with this kind of settings okay so I'm going to ca my camera in the ph physical camera tag here and in my lens parameter uh, um, by default the vine acting effect is set it up to 1 I set it up to 0 because I like to add vine acting in post production in Photoshop and all the settings here are standard and I have not touched this, this uh, these settings there for now okay uh, maybe we can try to see what happens now in my scene so um, I have already set it up uh, another things but I don't want to show you now the override of reflection so I won't show you how to um, is light this scene with a simple light and very few elements so let's begin and see what happens in my render to picture viewer okay as you can see uh, with this simple light it creates a physical sky that works well for this kind of scene for me and the light is, uh, is very good for now I think uh, maybe we can tweak this out a bit but for now it's it's a good start and um, this is super standard uh, settings also as you can see I have this very nice thin grass in my garden here as you can see and I think I'm pretty happy with it um, as you can see this at this moment these buildings is a bit overexposed but I think in when I ap we apply the materials is is the right uh, exposure for this well, so we can after uh, maybe we can try to tweak this out or set in a lower exposure for resolve this problem but I think this is not a problem because when you apply a con grayish concrete to this building is uh, properly lighting up I think but we we will see in, uh, in the future so I stop the render 
as you can see in my render I have uh, a progressive uh, render for now uh, this is our default setting in, in V-Ray uh, 3.7 and I usually uh, do the, the test with this and uh, maybe I can tweak the, my, my settings in, the, in future but it's up to you uh, okay to complete my scene I, I wanna add some trees as you can see here I have uh, already imported these four oh sorry uh, these four um, trees here no uh, sorry these three kind of trees here one is a big one this is a highest one and this is a thinnest one by create some instances so I selected my trees and again create an instances as we will show you before I have created some new trees as you can see here and I position it by simply moving it in my scene okay here to create a nicer uh, background effect for my camera uh, and my composition because I want to simulate a, a, a very nicer uh, um, uh, place in in an immersive garden or uh, with uh, some vegetation in, uh, in in background so I really like this and after doing this we can try to see what happened in my render Okay, I think it gives more realism to my scene by adding some trees on my background and foreground. As you can see here, I have this nice plantation here. And you can, it's up to you to create your what you like on your on your scene. I really like this kind of act, a, effect, so I created this to create basically my scene. Okay guys, for these lessons is all, I think in the next lesson we can start to create some uh, material for my building, my trees and my ground. And maybe in the third lesson we can try to render up uh, this scene, uh, this scene uh, by tweaking these uh, render settings, do final adjustment in color correction and um, color mapping in this scene and after doing this I will and try to uh, post produce it in Photoshop so stay tuned and follow me on YouTube and Instagram bye